appreciate it. So for over 100 years, uh, companies like ComEd and Exelon have generated electricity and they've delivered it you know, to people like you. But in the, something's happened. In the last 10 years, the cost for things like solar, batteries, and electric vehicles have dropped by over 80%. And um, according to, to Lazard, uh, this is going to continue. So despite you know, even some of the tariffs that were put on solar panels this year, almost immediately, uh, there was another 20% drop to counteract the tariffs, which are uh, pulling off over the next two years anyway. So the result of this is that central generation that we've relied on for years and years is on the way out, and local generation is in. Somewhere, depending on where you live, uh, if you're in the United States, or if you're in Australia, or Japan, somewhere between 15 to 50% of your electricity uh, that is going to supply your home or your business is going to come from local sources. It's a mix of solar panels, wind, and, and other uh, local generation sources. So what happens is more and more people can afford these devices. Uh, the complexity, not just the complexity of managing the grid, but financially uh, incentivizing all these new buyers and sellers on the grid. So this, everybody pretty much gets a flat rate, it's all pretty simple for you right now. Well, the cost is actually fluctuating all the time, and the utility just kind of averages that out for you, so, so it looks simple. But with all these new devices, that is no longer as simple, and the folks that are in charge of this are kind of scratching their heads trying to figure out new ways, new business models to move forward. And uh, but, but there's a lot of reasons why they can't efficiently do this. Uh, there's, there's a very complex regulatory structure, and they have legacy systems. Anybody here work on any of the lovely uh, mainframe systems that are our utilities? Uh, <laughs> but uh, there are options, and what we want to do uh, as Omega Grid is encourage the right equipment to operate at the right time and allow utilities and, and their customers to move beyond the legacy systems that are in place. So uh, I'm Kelly Tobin, co-founder, CEO of Omega Grid. Uh, we are uh, we've created a, a blockchain energy uh, platform, and it's software to help manage all the new solar, batteries, and electric vehicles coming. So uh, we do this by managing the transactions and looking at the grid to understand uh, what is the best balance of energy at any time. So this is kind of a complex system, uh, uh, way of describing what we're doing, but I'll, I'll kind of skip it because we only have a few minutes. We um, give you a little history. We started about two years ago. Uh, my co-founder uh, is Dr. Massimo Mikiero, who's my professor at Paul University. Does anybody know Massimo's? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, no longer my CTO. He is now in LA, uh, basking in the sun and uh, Elon Musk's uh, radiance as an uh, uh, engineer at, at, at SpaceX. So um, I'm partially here because I need more help. We did a project already. Uh, this was the first uh, microgrid that we managed in Sonoma, California. We did this last year. And uh, have a bunch of cool you know, energy devices on site, including about four different solar panels, uh, uh, micro turbines, big Tesla batteries, uh, Pretty much every electrolyzer is also this guy is, is awesome. Um, and that was the sort of grid balancing side that we proved out there. And then in Burlington, Vermont, uh, just in January, we went live with our first uh, uh, customer facing program. And we've been running there for about two and a half months now, and it's going great. We're getting a lot of great reviews, and we're, we're excited to expand that. Uh, we wrote the, the grid balancing aspect in, uh, that's almost all on Python, front end using uh, you know, Web2.5, of course, and uh, 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 it's a little bit of JavaScript. And then the back end for the Bronson app is all in, in Python as well. And so we're, we're, we've are we just signed on with our second city. It's in California, and we'll be rolling on a project with them this summer. And we really need help because we are going to have more projects on our hands than we, than we know what to do with them. So, uh, this is just a quick view of what kind of what the customer sees. We incentivize them uh, right away, and our our tool, the uh, client that we we'll offer, is an open source client and uh, an API essentially for uh, any device to interface with our platform. So typically, the way this works is a large manufacturer or somebody will get credit for turning down their electricity when electricity is very expensive, and oftentimes they just give them uh, they just turn on a generator. And uh, the utility will give them a thousand for doing that, helping them offset their extremely high cost during that time. Uh, we want to be able to let any device participate in this, anywhere down from a smart switch, you know, all the way up to, to a large uh, roll of ice ring or uh, manufacturer. And 
Uh, we can do that because in a traditional sort of transactional system, it, it costs uh, like a credit card system. You get about 10 transactions per dollar. Um, on a blockchain platform that we're using, we can get about 10 million transactions per dollar. And so that's that's kind of the step change that we're, we're working with there that allows us to do machine-to-machine -machine payments. I won't go into all the kind of uh, justification for using blockchain right now because we only have a few minutes and we'll probably over. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're rolling out, we're doing more projects. Uh, this this summer with another city that I can't announce yet, but I will be able to announce about the main June time frame. And we'll be looking for uh, some temporary help at first, uh, some contract help. Most of our, our folks working for us are uh, contractors, and we, we run in kind of sprints with folks who uh, are interested in what we're doing, who are trying to help, trying to help us move this forward. And uh, yeah, we believe that the the best way to predict the future is to create it. Uh, there's a global change going on. It's not just happening in Chicago. It's not just happening in the United States. This is something that's happening around the world, and it's really fun to be part of. So, hope you can join us. And all for applause. You can see why it was the, the, the PyCon Startup Pro Pitch again uh, that's <laughs> winner, right? Perfect five minutes. It was really great. Um, any questions from the audience while we get uh, ascent up here? Yes. Spencer, come on up. Spencer. Blockchain uses a lot of power distributed. How? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, how do we get around it? So, um, yeah, the, the kind of uh, the original kind of proof of work Bitcoin approach, definitely, and, and even the most popular approach right now is basically burning electrons. Um, two things. So, we use uh, on, the, on the grid balancing side, instead of doing worthless work, we actually do the calculations to optimize the grid. And we do it. With a, with a it's kind of a hybrid proof of authority method, so we're not spinning uh, processors for no reason, and so we can run about a thousand devices, coordinate about a thousand devices off of a, a Raspberry Pi. So it's, a, it's kind of you know, awesome how it builds so it's smart. Um, and then um, the public blockchain that we use is also a proof of authority, and uh, that's why it's part of the reason why it's so inexpensive to do uh, processes. It's, it's very well respected consensus protocol. So very low power. We're not ruining the earth while we're sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> One more round of applause, folks.